hello everyone welcome to to monat kitchen if you are here and you have not yet subscribe kindly hit the subscribe button and like my videos i want to take this opportunity to thank my subscribers thank you so much guys today's video is making of shito black chili pepper let's get into today's video guys let's get started <laughs> so guys these are my basic ingredients for making shito we have our ginger garlic and onion these are the basic guys whenever you want to make shito these are just the basic ingredient that you'll be used to make your shito i'll be naming the rest later on in the video so guys i'm going to cut our ingredients into smaller pieces just for easy blend so i'm now going to blend our ingredients together i now have um garlic onion and ginger i'm now going to blend them into our blender i'm blending our vegetables with oil i'm not using water in blending it i'm using oil so i'm going to pour in our blended garlic onion and ginger into this empty pot this is it then you keep on stirring you'll be stirring till we later add in our remaining ingredients <laughs> so i'm adding in some little bit of tomato paste guys you don't have to add in more tomato paste just a small amount of it is okay so you have to be stirring it continuously guys on a minimum heat and i'm going to add some crushed chili or chili crush but you can as well use smooth chili pepper but i prefer to use the chili crush guys like this then you keep on stirring like i said okay in all our shito has been on fire for about 30 minutes so i'm now going to add in my insasawa insasawa means herrings yes and this is it this is my insasawa I'm using the powdered form, yeah, herrings powder, and I'm going to add it into our shito or black chili sauce, and I'm also going to add in our shrimp powder. This is it. I'm also going to add it into our shito. You know, there can never be a shito without in sasawa and shrimp powder it makes your shito so yummy smells so good and amazing i'm also going to add in black pepper as you all can see that's it so guys stay tuned <laughs> i'm going to be stirring it to we add something different into our sauce again so guys i'm adding some oil to it you'll be adding in oil when needed especially there wouldn't be shito without much oil the more the oil the longer um that your shito can be preserved yeah okay guys i'm now adding in my tuna adding in my bouillon seasoning i just added my bouillon seasoning wow our shito is really looking so amazing guys i'm adding in some salt guys okay guys 
our shito is now ready and as you all can see it's looking so amazing look at it so good isn't it thank you so much guys this can be preserved for a very longer time and to our students in the boarding houses i guess you can now make shit up <laughs> okay till we meet again in my next episode guys shalom peace